God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In baptism, Norbert shared in the death and resurrection of Christ. May he be welcomed into the glory of eternal life. In life, Norbert cherished the gospel of Christ. May Christ now greet him with these words of eternal life. Come, blessed of my Father. In baptism, Norbert received the sign of the cross. May he now share in Christ's victory over sin and death. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Let us sing. I am an instrument of the living God, my life a melody to his name. More than the songs I sing, I worship is everything I live to glorify my King. Hear the song of my life. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. I raise the anthem high. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Through all the mire and clay, you're washing me with grace. You carry me, oh Lord, through it all. So I will testify, even in the fire, I live to praise my Savior. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. I raise this anthem high. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Hear the song of my life. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. I raise this anthem high. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. 
Let us pray. O God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant, Norbert, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us sit down for first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. The word of the Lord. And I 
I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for all of us, he will not, he, will he not with him also give everything else? Who brings any charge against God's, God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died, yes, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution, persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the, God, of the Lord. the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may proclaim this word. you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going, how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
I wish to sympathize with the family of Kirk. I hope many of you know me. Some years ago, <laughs> around 11 years ago, I know you very well. <laughs> yeah. And I know 11 years ago, I met uh, Norbert here. We didn't see again until two weeks ago. I came to see him, and I told him I will see him again. But I see, saw him, see the body this morning, so I thought I was going to see him alive, as I promised him that day. I was with uh, Orlando that day. We met him in the hospital. So we are here to say farewell to him because we didn't have the opportunity of doing that when he was actively, physically with us. So today we are celebrating two feasts, the great feast, the natural birthday of our mother, Mary, ever virgin, is today. And heavenly birthday of Norbert is being celebrated today. And that's why all of us are here. So Norbert did a good job for gathering all of us here this afternoon to know and to believe that God is with us. Many who have not seen him for some time have come today to say farewell. Many who have not met once ourselves for some time, now it is opportunity to say we are still here together. So, I want us to understand a few things. Narbrot is one who worships God and believes who God is until the last moment. So we have no doubt of where he is now. He is with God. I can testify to that. And he is not far away from us because the reading we had simply said, Wherever I am, my servant will also be there. And so, if we believe that God is here, Narbrot is a servant of God. So he is here with us. But we are not seeing him because we have not reached the level he is. He has gone to a higher level. Among the children of God, there is no death. Life is just changed. So Naboth is not dead. And I hear people say, I lost my dad. Naboth is not lost. I just want us to know that. He is not lost. He has gone ahead of us, and he's praying for us, and he is hearing what we're saying, and he's seeing all of us that are here, but we are not seeing him. He is no longer in this body. He has left this body. He's not in the casket. I hope you know this. Many of us might have had experience of having a dream in the dream, you go to bed because the body is already weak. So he goes to sleep. Why the body is sleeping and you are snoring like myself? The life, the spirit moves away from the body and goes out to meet other spirits. And you could remember when you wake up that you were somewhere. That's the dream. But the body is lying on the bed. And you are snoring. 
And the people in other rooms will be hearing you snoring. Or you sleep quietly, put your hand like this, put your leg like this. But the spirit has gone out. If that life, the spirit that goes out, that does, does not come back to the body, we say the person is dead. But the person has walked out. So what we call death in a human language is a departure of life from the body. If the life does not come back, the body is useless. If the spirit does not come back to the the body, the body is useless. We carry the body and bury. And the spirit is working, doing something else in another place. So we don't die. We walk out from the body. When the body is no longer strong enough to endure the, the pressure of life, life walks out of the body. The body lies there and is buried. But the body, whoever serves God, we go with God as Norbert has gone to God. And if we believe God is here, Norbert is here. And I want to, watch, to encourage all of us here, please. Many of you know me. Please. If you have not returned to God, do that now. There are a lot of challenges, a lot of trouble going on in the world. The devil is taking control of the human, the human beings, frustrating everybody, depressing everybody, destroying everybody, destroying families. It is time to rise up and call upon God and return to God. Things will change. He is here. And I thank God for this opportunity given to me by Norbert to minister to people here. It's not by coincidence. It is the plan of God. And I believe that. And God speaks and is around us. And let us not joke about it. He's with us. Return to God. Return to God. He is waiting for us. He is waiting for you. So that at, the, at that last moment, you will see the angels around. What happened a second before our eyes closes at death, nobody has seen. But the dead cannot tell you. But they see something. If you have ever worshipped God, he will reveal himself at that moment when he will say, come, my faithful servants. Come to the kingdom prepared for you before the foundation of the world. We all are made to wait for that statement, that invitation from God. Our brother here, waited for it, and he received and heard it. I gave him Holy Communion, what we call, we call the last rite, but it was not the last rite, because I promised him I was going to come back. The church had no last rite for anybody. We do anointing of the sick. It is not last rite, because I know somebody, I have done last rite three times, he's still alive. Yes, I anointed him the first time. They said, last right, I did. After some weeks, I went again, did another last right. After some weeks again, I went and did another last right. Four years, the person lived after the first last right. <laughs> so I don't know what to call last right in that kind of thing. <laughs> so... I didn't tell him this the last right. I said, I will see him again. But unfortunately, I didn't see him 
physically again, but I know who, where he is, and I am going to meet him. And I believe all of us here will be prepared to meet him there in the presence of God. He lived his life in God. And that's why I'm saying all these children, make sure you live your life in God, with God, and through God. What if I tell you something? I like sharing experience. On 17th of last month, you know, I am in paradise waiting for all of us, preparing a place. I'm in Paradise Hill. On the 17th of last month, 4 o'clock, I had experience. The experience was from my phone. My phone rang. I picked the phone. I know the name. I saw the name of the person. And I picked the phone. Hello. But the voice I heard, the accent was of the person. But the voice I heard was not of the person. The phone went off. I called the number again. I was still hearing the same voice I couldn't understand. I picked my phone and went to the chapel, knelt down in front of the blessed sacrament and said, God, if you are the one who is want to speak to me, speak the language I will hear. He said, then a voice came. I said, I said, I am telling you this not to be afraid or to be scared, but I want you to be strong. Pray for strength. Because if anything affects the eyes, it will affect the nose as well. Pray for life. War is raging. But I will protect your family. Claim life for your, for your families. Let my peace be with you. God is among us. I went into prayer since, since that time I had been praying until last Friday. The whole thing that, that I was told came to pass. I will tell the story next time. I'm not finishing the story today, but I'm just telling you this, that if you allow God into your life, he will reveal himself to you because he is here. He's not far away from us. As Norbert lived his life in God, there are so many things about this man whose body is lying here. So many things. I have heard when I came here 11 years ago, I heard a lot of him, how he was in one holding the two parishes, Marsden and Nilberg. Whatever he did in that, the families are still on it. But I will encourage the young ones, don't quit. If you have quit, come back. That God is still waiting for every one of us. And I pray for all of you, and I pray for the family, for all the friends who have gathered here, because you were here in the name of God. If God has not made it possible, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have been here. And so, Lord, I call upon you, as you have called our brother, giving him new life, placing him in the highest level, in the pinnacle of your glory. May he be numbered among your saints in the name of Jesus. For the family, Heavenly Father, they are here celebrating the heavenly birthday of their dad. Yes, we are going to miss him, but we are not losing him. And so I pray, Heavenly Father, that every one of us will get ourselves ready to meet with you where he is now. Open their heart, Heavenly Father, to understand that you are with them 
and this man you called have opened the road for them to follow. May they be known by your glory, Heavenly Father. May these families be known for your glory and by your glory. And for all the friends, Heavenly Father, who have come, I claim every family, every soul, every heart that are represented here, every nation that are represented here, for you, Lord Jesus, you are the God of glory. You made us one through our mother Mary. So bless everyone here and bless every family here. Bless them with your peace. Bless them with your joy. Bless them with your healing. For you are God who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Let us stand up for the prayer of intercession. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. In baptism, Norbert received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead him over the waters of death. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Our brother Norbert was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome him into the halls of your heavenly banquet. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await in the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. Lord, hear our prayer. Or we pray to the Lord, sorry. Lord, hear our prayer. <laughs> Many people die by violence, war, and famine each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer unjustly. These sins against your love and gather them to the eternal kingdom of peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Those who trust in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The family and friends of Norbert seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence. We pray to our brother Norbert. Strength our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We bless your holy name, heavenly Father, and we thank you. We have presented our needs, our prayers, our intercession, and we pray, Lord Jesus, to answer us and bless all the one in our hearts that we are not able to mention, for you are God who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us sit. In the morning when I rise, in the morning when I rise, in the morning when I rise, give me Jesus, give me Jesus, give me Jesus. journey has begun now the journey has begun 
Now the journey has begun. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. You may have all this world. Give me Jesus. When the prize is surely won, when the prize is surely won, when the prize is surely won, Give me Jesus, give me Jesus, give me Jesus. You may have all this world, give me Jesus, give me Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Norbert, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him, the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, 
so that they may be calm for us, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sir Paros ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death. O Lord, until you come again. O Lord, until you come again. O Lord, until Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have had us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Norbert, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called here to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. God, you take away the sins of the world. Misery and obese. Lamb of God, you take away. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. This is the time in the celebration of Eucharist when Holy Communion is distributed to those who have been baptized in the Catholic Church and who are prepared to receive this sacrament. Those who may not be ready at this time to receive Holy Communion may come forward for a blessing, indicating this by placing your arms across your heart like this. Those who prefer to remain seated are free to do so. Christ. May the peace of Christ be upon you. 
Let it be sacred. This is Jesus.
Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our brother Norbert may come to the eternal table of Christ who lives and reigns forever and ever. Any message? Any announcement? Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. In baptism, Nerba shared in the death and resurrection of Christ, may he be welcomed into the glory of eternal life. Songs of the angels welcome you and guide you along your way. May the smiles of the martyrs greet your own as darkness turns into day. Every fear will be undone and death will be no more. As a sign of respect for our brother Norbert, we lift this incense, rise to God, who has called him to share in his glory.
into your hands, Father of mercies. We commend our brother Norbert in sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Norbert in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. Dear friends, May every mark of affection and every gesture of friendship that you give to others be a sign of God's peace for you. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. So